One. In one of my previous videos, I covered the recent test of my Tipjet helicopter. Since then, I've made many more improvements and other tests that I'd like to share with you in this video. This project started over a year ago when I built a Tipjet helicopter out of balsa wood and parts from the hardware store. This version failed uh, just about every time we launched it because the structure was made of balsa wood, which is not good when you're spinning super fast. For this new version, I made sure to make the rotors out of basswood, which is a lot stronger than balsa wood. Another change I made was removing the airfoil shape entirely and instead just angling the rotors. This increase, this uh, makes this a lot simpler to produce. All of this is held together by 3D printed components uh, and the wood is epoxied so that each component with motor mounts on each end. This first test flight of the helicopter. Right now, everything is on a uh, wooden dowel and it's clamped to a bench and it's going to be powered by two a size motors so doing this frame by frame so the first notable thing is as you can see both motors ignite at the same time which has uh never been done before so uh it starts spinning and then our first problem is the wood dowel is bending a lot as you can see like maybe bending 20 30 degrees and then after that it just breaks just cleanly breaks because of the oscillations um and the rotor actually lifts up a little bit before it spirals out of control because there's no static stabilization hits the table and bounces off and hits the ground and one of the motors also flies off on the uh, right hand side it flies off into the bushes and here is all of this in uh, real time. After the tragic failure of the last test flight, uh, here are some of the changes I made to prevent this from happening in the future. I switched the wood dowel that broke last time with a steel dowel that will hopefully uh, take the forces better. Next test flight, you can see that we're doing this in pitch black conditions, which isn't the best, but I mean, it is what it is. So now we're getting started. Uh, first notable thing is, the sparks look a lot better with the uh, darkness, but we get ignition of both motors once again, and it starts spinning pretty fast. And another cool thing is that there's just about no oscillation. As you can see, the, uh, the shaft isn't spinning at all or i mean the shaft isn't moving at all uh it burns out throwing a bunch of sparks and then those kind of secondary flames is the uh, delay charge burning after the last test i added some balsa wood fins below the rotor to make the design statically stable i also added a tube section at the front uh, to potentially house a flight computer in the future this flight computer will be used to control uh, control services like fins below the rotor to make this an actively controlled tipjet helicopter. Before that though, this uh, design needs to survive its next flight on two B-size rocket motors in the next few weeks. If you're excited for that, uh, like me, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment with any future ideas. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.